Hi, my name is Zahir Ogle. I have the privilege to be the CEO of Delmar Exchange. I've been in business most of my life, and I got into the foreign exchange business about uh, 25 years ago. There was a company already formed uh, with some partners and friends of mine here called Delmar Exchange. And what we wanted to do was we wanted to bring a UK style uh, foreign exchange company over to, uh, to the UAE. So when, I, when we saw that the, the demo exchange had all the necessary central bank licenses, uh, we got involved and uh, our, our aim was then 12 years ago is to form a UK type of entity that would service corporate and private clients for foreign exchange. The objective was to be very bespoke and very client-centric. And uh, I think that's what uh, our goal has always been. We are very much about empowering uh, our clients, corporate and private clients. And uh, what the empowerment means is to really share our knowledge and our expertise with them in a very transparent way, to then empower them to make good decisions for their foreign exchange. And, and that's really the center and the core of uh, our business. I think when the company was first started, it was very much just a, a traditional uh, exchange house dealing with what, what we consider retail clients. You know, really dealing with the main corridors of uh, people remitting their salaries and savings to uh, traditional corridors of India, Philippines, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Pakistan. That, that was the business. And what, we, what we did was we, we, we moved the business more into a corporate field. and. Uh, you know, our partnerships and our counterparties expanded away from this, uh, this type of business, much more into a European uh, settlements business, a Japanese yen. So I think the first milestone really was that we were able to transact these type of deals straight from the UAE. And I think the next milestone was we started doing forward contracts. So we were able to hedge people's uh, funds. So I think that was very important, not only for c companies, but also for private uh, individuals who had uh, you know, companies that were importing goods here, they wanted to fix their rates, they didn't want to be at mercy of the movements of the market. And I, same for individuals, sometimes they'd be buying a house, you know, they, they've costed the house at X price that they're buying in Europe or wherever it was in the UK, investing or buying a, a second home for themselves. And you know, they didn't want the price to change later when they were going to go and complete the deals. So we gave them the opportunity to uh, fix it. So I think that was our, uh, another major milestone. And I think another one is uh, to do with technology. So of course, we, you know, with the pandemic, we were all forced, we were heading that way before then, but we were forced to accelerate it. So I think these are the major milestones. And I think I, I'd like to say that, you know, from quite a small company, we grew. And uh, I think, you know, we, we have people that have been with us for uh, all the time, for 12 years. So I think milestones are also uh, uh, the fact that we're able to retain so many people that have stayed with us for such a period of time. So I think at the heart of it, heart of the business is not only the clients, but the people that work for us. Our main offering is a standard transaction. It's known as a spot transaction. So that, that's uh, something that uh, is available in most places. So people just book a deal and they need to make a payment. So, you know, for example, let's say there's a furniture importer and he's importing furniture from Italy, for example, and uh, he needs to settle his invoice in euros. He's got 100,000 euros to settle. So, you know, we, we do that for him. We give him a good rate and he sends us the dirhams and we make the payment. So I think that's the most basic. So then you've got something called hedging. So we call them forward contracts. So what a forward contract does, it, it allows the client to fix a rate for a period of time. So, you know, it, for example, if he's supplying, let's go back to the furniture example, if he's supplying uh, his furniture to many shops and he wants to retain the, the price for a particular or a group of items for the whole year, he wants to fix the rate for the whole year. So he's paying a euro price, he wants to fix it against the Durham price. So he's able to do that, as well as many other things as well that are related to hedging. 
And then I think the last thing that we offer is if we give a, a client an opportunity to hunt a better rate. So if the rates are uh, X now and they want X plus three, for example, then we put an order in the market if and when the rate gets to X plus three, we're able to execute for them and you know, they're not watching the screens all the time. So I, I think they're obviously more complicated, they're more in depth. Our, uh, our dealers are able to speak to clients in a very knowledgeable way. But I, I, I think the important thing is that large institutions and large companies use all these mechanisms and have always used them for many, many years. So, you know, our goal is to make them available to uh, private individuals and companies so that they're, they're able to access this. I, you know, I, th I think it's an ever-changing marketplace. You're absolutely right. And you know, the financial industry is, it's, it's a very innovative and it's a, it's a space where there's a lot of information and a lot of technology coming in. So I think that we have to stay up to date, we, you know, by following our, our vision and bringing in new technology. I think one of the biggest things that has changed probably over the last 10 to 15 years is the, the regulations and the compliance. Uh, so this is an area which protects the clients. So that's where we have to concentrate a lot of our time and energy to make sure that we are compliant and protecting the client at all times. I think what, where the clients benefit is dealing with knowledgeable people. One of the issues I think in many industries is communication. I think we've all had issues with uh, you know, whether we're dealing with our bank or whether we're dealing with telecom companies where it's very hard to actually get hold of someone and that they have the knowledge to deal with it. I think, you know, we're very much based in one office and so we communicate really well. So issues from one side to another, I think this is a very important thing and trust. So clients have learned to trust us. We deal with their money. So the most important thing is that their money is safe and it's being dealt with properly and, you know, under strict operational conditions that their money is always protected. So I, I think that these are the key things. I think it's knowledge and trust. And of course, whenever you're dealing with any uh, uh, partnership and our clients are, are uh, we're their partners, is that you, you want to get the job done. So I think that, you know, they, they want things executed and delivered. So I think yeah, security of their funds, our knowledge and expertise, and then executing to get the things completed. We don't have an overall strategy for all clients. We are very much bespoke and we look at each client and each case individually. You know, just recently I had a, uh, a referral from one of our other clients and just to give you an example to make it real, this is literally in the last two days. So one of my good clients referred me to a, a lady who happens to be a, a lawyer here and she's purchasing a, a house in Spain. So, you know, it, it's quite a daunting process for her uh, it was quite a large purchase, it's over half a million euros. And I was able to hold a hand through that process of the foreign exchange, explain to her how it works, what needs to be done. And I, I think that gave her a lot of comfort and able to give her knowledge. And then, we, of course, we discussed the rates, we had a look at it. And I was able to discuss with her what her risk appetite was, how much time did she have to make the payment. And with that, we were able to come up with a specific strategy and, and it worked really well for her. And, and I think that's the key. So, I, I, you know, if you take the same thing into a corporate client, each corporate client has different needs. They have time constraints, they have uh, rate constraints. So I think it's about having a strategy for each individual. So if you're looking at the company strategy, the company strategy is to treat everyone as an individual. So I think you know, our, our ultimate goal really is to be a technology company with a human touch. So, I, you know, we don't want to be a faceless company because you're dealing with people's money. I, I, I know the millenniums have changed. They're, they're happy for banks more and more to deal with their funds and it is a, 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 a less faceless. But I think with companies, when you're dealing with large sums of money or particular things where people still need their hands holding, like the example I've given you. If you look at the UAE, if you take the oil out of it, which of course is a big part of the UAE, we, we're, we're a massive net importer. So goods are imported from all over the world. So in order for that to happen, these invoices for importing materials, you can see uh, uh, Dubai particularly, and the EU is going through a massive 
property boom at the moment. Everyone is aware of it. So a lot of people are wanting to come and live here. Uh, so they're transferring their funds. I import is happening. People are using their salaries and their savings or whatever their investments are, and they're also making investments abroad. So all these things require foreign currency. I think really, if you look at it, everybody uses foreign currency. Everybody understands some level of foreign currency. You're traveling, you need some cash, you need to do some transfers. So it's a very, very important part of the UAE more than anywhere else to uh, be able to provide people a secure, safe and bespoke service for their foreign exchange. So I think that's where the benefit is. The word that comes to my mind when you ask that question is consistency. I think if you're consistent all the time, then this is where you prove yourself to be a company that delivers and uh, is trusted. The expression I like to use is, you know, whatever it says on the tin, when somebody opens it, that's what you want to find inside the tin. And I hope that's what we do. So if we say that we are a trusted, bespoke foreign exchange company on the tin, then when you open it, that's what you find. And the more times anybody finds that, it's the same, I mean, the expression I use is, uh, you know, jammy dodgers is a particular type of biscuit that you have with a biscuit and some jam, and it's quite a popular one. So if, if the tin says jammy dodgers and you open it, and that's what you find, you, you start trusting it. So that, that's really what we uh, uh, aim to do. I think partnerships are key. If you want to grow your business, it's very, very important to have stakeholders, partnerships. So of course, the, our partnership with our clients, and that's how we look at it, is uh, uh, you know, we're their partners in their foreign exchange. That is something that comes first to my mind. I think after that, we, we have a, a, a numerous counterparties. We call them counterparties. The, these are companies that we use to facilitate the, the payments and facilitate the foreign exchange. So that can be banks all over the world, you know, from the UAE to Europe, to India, to all over the world. So I think these are key partnerships that we've had and we built up over a period of 12 years. And to begin with, they're very simple. And as they've got more uh, uh, technology, as they've got more products and facilities, then of course we've been able to uh, participate in them and th that's where it benefits clients. So I think that's a very, very key area. I think the next key area is really all the support services that we use. So for example, our cloud company. So that benefits providing a secure environment that our clients are able to deal with us. Then all the IT companies and supports that we have, our PR companies, uh, all of our relationships that we have, they all benefit the, our clients because they show our strength and we're able to demonstrate it. Delmar Exchange, changing global currency. <laughs>